armed attack and shelling is making things difficult for the people of Manipur. Last night, more than 100 shellings were used to create an unrest in Manipur's Bishnupur area. The militants attacked government vehicles in the area. Locally made ammunitions were used as explosive. My colleague Priyank brings us this ground report. Let's take a look. The armed militia is now targeting the government vehicle because they are the one who is protecting the other community. That's why they've been clearly cut visuals which you can see that how they have been targeting the government vehicle whenever they are going to stop the violence which is being occurred by them. What is happening on the ground that those houses which were left behind, abandoned by the members of one community is now being targeted with uh, uh, explosives. Uh, day before yesterday we also showed you that how RPG launchers have been uh, placed by, uh, for their defense. This is what they claim. But look at the empty shells. Uh, these are the empty shells of uh, the ID which was placed. So inside this there were was explosive which this is a locally made uh, explosive which has been found it has been well shaped so there is someone who is trying to instruct them and uh, what is very alarming is that all these government the police armed forces uh, places which has been placed to keep them under shelter is put under attack look at the top of this uh, ceiling of this uh, particular shelter which has been taken by the police officials from the uh, from the Assam police as well as the Assam rifles, which is also under the attack. There have been series of uh, uh, violence which has uh, happened in this uh, Bishnupur area. Bishnupur is uh, in the border of Chuda Chandpur, Bishnupur. And we are right outside Pongok Chow, Ikhai Bazaar. And this bazaar's uh, community hall has been taken as a shelter. Kal kafi de tak firing hui thi yaha pe, is tab ke shells mile ऑफ़ keep the ammunition inside. What is more alarming, that how is it possible that these ammunitions are entering Manipur? There have been clear-cut reports that the government has suggested that the ammunition could have come up from the Myanmar side. But even if it's coming, what are the uh, forces doing? What is exactly happening on the ground? How is it possible that these shells, these uh, mortar shells, these uh, 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 the RPG launchers are being used by these militants, the militia, is something, something very serious that the government will have to think about. My colleague Priyank brings this ground report from a town called More that is three kilometers away from the indo myanmar border. Hundreds of houses, shops and government offices have been vandalized and burnt down in the ongoing violence. Allegedly, terrorists from Myanmar have joined hands with local militants to raise the town. Times Network has reached to the most worst right affected area where the ethnic groups have been clashing with each other. This area is known as More, which is on the Indo-Myanmar border. And as you can see, the smoke is still coming out from these houses which were targeted by the members of the other community. This was a house which was left by uh, those uh, residents who feared that the other ethnic group will come and attack them. And because of that, there was a police uh, picket also which was placed there. That green color uh, place uh, was a police picket where uh, the paramilitary forces and other security persons were also trying to keep a tab on. But unfortunately, uh, what happened a day before can clearly be seen here. All these evidences of human civilization, the almiras, the bed, the air condition, everything has been gutted down under fire. And all these shops, if you can see, uh, these shops are the ones which were also targeted yesterday. Uh, we have been told by the officials uh, in the government that uh, they are fearing that there was a group which came out from the other side of the border and because of them this uh, these clashes started happening and very semi-automatic and automatic pistols were uh, used by them we can see on the ground it's certainly 
something serious which shows that how this town has been looking like a ghost town. There is no one who has come up here. Those ethnic groups who have been staying in Mori have gone back to their houses, but those who have left their houses will have nothing even if they will come back to the same location.